Hi YouTubers and welcome to my new section of video games and consoles. Nice! This is me back in 2009, introducing a new series to the channel that featured every Sunday and would be known as Video Games and Consoles from the Loft. For over 40 episodes it ran, where each time I dived into my attic, picked out an item and brought it down to make a review about it. Whether it be a console, a quirky accessory, or a tabletop or handheld game that perhaps no one had even heard about. Two years has passed since my last gaming review, and finally, we're back. I may not have a loft anymore, but I want to dedicate this series to all of my subscribers and subscribers that remember and may have watched an episode at some point and have long deserved a new review. This one's for you, as this is Gaming Reviews and the Starwing Competition Cartridge. Unbelievably, 21 years ago this year, Miyamoto and the Nintendo Entertainment Analysis and Development Team brought about the release of the first edition into what would become an intergalactic stellar adventure and a fantastic futuristic title and series as we speak of Star Fox, also known as Star Wing in Europe and Australia. This particular game that helped pioneer the use of 3D video game graphics that was supported by an onboard Super FX chip followed a band of mercenaries as they trekked across the Lilac system in search of a crazy scientist known as Andros, whom was helm bent on causing chaos and destruction throughout the stellar quarters. This single player, rail shooter, first person perspective title that saw us take control of Fox McCloud within these 3D environments and challenging missions contained tight controls, quirky sidekick characters and terrific music that occupied each and every level all in all helping to blow many of us away, sell 4 million copies and now has to be one of the staple diets to any Super Nintendo collection. Nintendo obviously felt that their new addition to the family was worth spending a few extra pennies on, as of the weekend of April 30th to May 2nd in 93. Nintendo hosted a Star Fox weekend competition that was held at around 1,500 to 2,000 locations in the United States, including stores like Blockbusters and Toys R Us. The competition weekend allowed gamers the chance to score as many points as possible in hope that they would win big prizes that were on offer. Everyone who entered got a Star Fox pin. There were t-shirts and bomber jackets to be won, and for the lucky winner, well that was apparently a trip for four to four major cities including London, Tokyo, Paris and Sydney, or the option of taking a lump sum of $15,000, which according to SNES Central, the winner did just that. Here in Europe there was also a competition laid out for us too, though the prizes were roughly the same, the tournament name had definitely changed as here in England it was known as the Starwing Competition, and in France it was known as the Super Challenge Starwing Tournament. In order to play the game, special cartridges were made by Nintendo and used at each location. After the competition ended, they were apparently sold off, though clearly on the label it stated, not for resale. And that's exactly why I have one in my hands today. It is not known how many of these exist throughout Europe and the United States and Canada, but probably several thousand, as there was also the opportunity to purchase a copy via the Nintendo Power magazine for a price of $45. It is also unknown what perhaps my score would have been back then, but today we are about to find out if I too would have won the holiday. The special competition cartridges were designed so that each and every entrant who entered the tournament was given 4 minutes exactly in which to score as many points as they possibly could. The game was made up by using 3 separate levels that included a shortened version of Corneria, a cut down stage of the asteroids and a specially designed third and final level. Points were totted up and scored by hitting and destroying enemies, blowing up meteors, taking down bosses, collecting gold rings, picking up power-ups including bombs and doubling up on lasers. 
flying through rings and special extra bonuses were dished out if you made it with full health on each of the first two levels. The biggest points came from defeating the two bosses as you can collect 10,000 from each one and it was best to use your bombs upon them as it will save you time in order to make it to the final level as that's what can make the real difference to your final score. Most of the store winners reached a total of over 130,000 points and as for the grand prize winners well they reached scores of between 140 and 150,000 points and as for myself well I would have just won a Star Fox t-shirt in store for reaching over 70,000.